thanks for joining us for Journey Kids. We are so excited to have some worship, play some games, and have some fun activities later. Don't forget to go online to our website with your parents to find the parent guide. All right, we're ready for some worship. Let's do it. Bye. A one and a two and a that's your cue. I'm a little deep, but short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my top. When I get all cleaned up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Hey, I'm a little deep, but short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my top. When I get all cleaned up, hear me shout. Tip. Me over and pour me out. Big finish! Anyone up for some coffee? Oh. You're gonna make fire. I'm John. I'm Brandon. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the So and So Show. If there's one thing John and I know about, it's eating Twizzlers while doing calculus and singing show tunes. If you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion sits? Putting on the Ritz. <laughs> That is true. Yeah, we is. do know about that, but what I meant was we know about friendship. Oh, yes, yes, we know a thing or two about being friends. Yeah, we've been friends a long time. So long. But, but when it comes down to it, I would say uh, I am the better friend. Are you kidding me? No, no, I'm stating a fact. <laughs> well, you need to check your factoids because there's no way you're a better friend than me. All right. According to the official friend handbook, on page 344, mm -hmm. it says, friends stand up for one another. And I have to say, John, I would wipe the proverbial floor with you on this topic. No, then you have been using way too much bleach because there is no way you're a better stander upper than me. I always stand up for my friends. Would you like to put that statement to a little test in the form of a game? Would I? Would you? Yeah. Okay, then it's time to play I'm a better friend than you are. No, why are you? All right, the game at its core is very simple. Mm, good, because that's how my brain works. Uh, written on these cards are trivia questions or physical challenges. If you correctly answer the question or complete the challenge, you win a point. Oh. If you fail, you can still get a point, but first you must face a consequence. Okay, what does this have to do with standing up for your friends? Hold your horses. Oh. If you do have to, no. Oh. If you do have to face a consequence, the other player is allowed to take the consequence in place of their friend oh. standing up. Uh, yes, friend. and yeah. then they get the point for being such an awesome friend. Exactly, okay. the first person to three points wins. Are you ready to play? Yeah, let's do this and may the best friend win, by the way, I'll go first. <laughs> of course you will. All right, finish these lyrics from this song about friendship. Mm. I'll be there for you. When the rain starts to pour. I'll be there for you. Like I've been there before. I'll be there for you. Cause you're there for me too. Oh, oh! that is correct. Yes! <laughs> One point for me! All right, all right, your all right. turn. Bring it on. Okay. All right, this one's a physical challenge. Physical challenge! Roll with your friends. You've got 20 seconds to get all the paper off of this roll without breaking it. Easy. Uh, but you have to do it by wrapping yourself up in it. Oh. Uh-huh. All right, are you ready? I think so. Three. Two, one, go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, oh no. you broke it! Oh. You broke it! Oh, man! Oh, <laughs> uh, well, so I guess I have to take the consequence, huh? Yes, you would, but 
as your friend, I will stand up for you and take your consequence. Uh, are you sure you want to do that? Of course. Give me his consequence! <laughs> yeah, yeah! Oh, wait, there's more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was it worth the point? Oh, it's not about the point, Brandon. It's about the friendship. But yes, totally worth it. All right, here's your card. A physical challenge, mm -hmm. it's called Face a Friend. Oh. All right, there are letter stickers on the table. Uh, you have one shot without using your hands to roll your head across the letters and have them stick to your forehead and spell the word friend. Okay, okay. You got it? Yep. Three, two, one, go. Three. Mm -hmm. It's looking good. All right, we got. Oh, it's close. You spelled fruend. Oh. There is no you and friend, I'm sorry. Oh, and I lost. And that buzzer means that I have to take the consequence. Yep. You know, and unless some good friend of mine is willing to take the consequence for me. No, you're right. You're a better friend than me. I won. Did you? <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Way to be a good friend. Thanks. I know, I know, I need some work. Well, maybe just a little. But today's story is all about friendship and sticking up for your friends when no one else does. Oh, that sounds perfect. Take it away, Kellen. Okay, quick setup slash recap. Today's Bible story comes after Jesus had died and had come back to life and then had gone back to heaven. His disciples were starting to spread the story of Jesus all over. Buckle up, everyone. We're about to have a couple of guests. Kellen! Kellen, Kellen, Kellen. Kellen! Now, you're not gonna say Bible story and recap in the same sentence and not expect me, Melv Solomon, and my down in the dumps brother in law to show up, are you? <laughs> I'm sad. Oh, I'm. I'm sorry to hear that. What's wrong, Greg? Oh, we got some mail that said Greg wasn't an integral part of the show. Really? That he was just eye candy. Oh, that's terrible. I do like Starburst. Greg, you do lots of things. Of course he does. He, uh, you know, he, he, but more than that, he's not only my bro-in-law, he's also my third best friend. Oh, oh. And friends do friend things, right? So I'm gonna let him sing along with me today as we help you recap this Bible story. Huh? <gasps> Hit it, Greg. Glad you came, glad you're here. I know it's getting late, but never fear. We'll give a blow by blow of the Bible story. On the Melv Solomon Story Recap. Beautiful, Greg. A bit pitchy, uh, but not too bad. <laughs> Kellen, do what you do. Um, right, Bible story. So, after Jesus returned to heaven, his disciples and others who had seen or heard about Jesus started spreading his teachings. Some people, on the other hand, were very anti-Jesus. One of them was a man named Saul, who was also called Paul. Well, did you say Saul and Paul? Those are two of my favorite names. <laughs> <laughs> Hit it, Greg. Paul and Saul 
One is short and one is small. They both shop at stores at the mall and together they can have a ball. Because they're the same person. Very nice, Greg, but you might want to enunciate. Oh, sure. Back to you, Kellen. Saul was a pretty mean dude and did terrible things. But one day, Jesus appeared to him while he was traveling and Saul's whole life was changed. He began preaching and teaching in the name of Jesus. It was quite a turnaround, but not everyone trusted that Saul had changed. You see, when Saul went to Jerusalem, the believers there, well, they were afraid of him. They didn't want to have anything to do with him. Oh, we know what that's like, don't we, Greg? It's like that show we did, you know, in Poughkeepsie. Oh, I still wake up at night crying into my pillow. Yeah, ditto, Greg. Ditto. Oh. Hit it! Poughkeepsie, your memory still haunts me. Why did no one like us? Did we smell like Limburger cheese? Came in a little early there, Greg, oh. but I gotta tell you, I felt it. I felt the pain oh. in here. Oh. And I liked it. Right. So, I'm sure Saul felt the pain too. He was a man that was changed, but no one accepted him. Well, no one except Barnabas. Barnabas was a Jesus follower in Jerusalem. He had not known Saul long at all, but he had befriended Saul and he did what a friend should do. He stood up for Saul. Barnabas took Saul to the apostles and told them how Jesus had spoken to Saul and how Barnabas had witnessed Saul's life change personally. And because Barnabas stood up for Saul, the other believers, they trusted him. Saul stayed with them and preached about Jesus all around Jerusalem. You know what song that reminds me of, Greg? The one you wrote. Yeah, yeah, now the melody is simple and the words are a little so-so, but it has heart. So uh, let's sing it together. You, you, you and me? Yeah, that's what we, together you... means, Greg. Oh. Hit it. You are my friend. You're always there And we won't fear no one Not even a bear You are my bro In love, but so Your words and actions show too Others you care Friendship Beyond compare oh. Give me a hug, Greg <laughs> uh, Brazil is sticking up for me, I'm choking uh, Don't oh. mention it You were a little flat though during the duet oh. hey, Maybe no one noticed Thank you and thank you, Melvin Gregg. After listening to Barnabas stand up for Saul, not only did the other believers accept Saul, they went on to stand up for him too. They even saved his life. You see, Saul had to be smuggled out of the city because there were people looking to kill him. That is pretty incredible. I'm so glad Saul had friends to stand up for him. I know, right? Saul went on to write a bunch of letters that make up a lot of the New Testament. Yep, true friends stand up for you. It was just silly string. <laughs> Thanks for the story, Kellen. You bet. I'll see you later, friends. Wait, you are still friends, right? Of course. We'll see. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't take the silly string consequence for you. You know I have your back when it really counts. Keep smiling, keep shining, knowing you can always count on me, for sure. 
That's what friends are for? <laughs> in good times, in bad times, I'll be on your side no matter what. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Reveal the question! When have you seen someone stand up for someone else? Just now! Yeah. <laughs> when I was in the fifth grade, uh, this girl named Rebecca accidentally shaved off one of her eyebrows. Oh no. Yeah, lots of people made fun of her for it, but then two of her friends stood up for her and they shaved off their eyebrows. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> right, yeah. now I don't recommend ever shaving your eyebrows no, off. No, they, no. they take a long time to grow back, yeah. but I thought that, was, that show of friendship was amazing. Well, hey, what about you? When have you seen someone stand up for someone else? Yeah, talk about it together and we'll see you next week for a brand new show. See ya, wow, that was amazing. Yeah. Thank you. You're not supposed to eat it, right? No, silly string. no, not at all. That's yeah. not good to get really all, anywhere near any uh, orifice. Right. Two, three, four, one. You are my friend. You're, You're always, always there. there. And we, we won't fear no, no one. Not even a bear. You are my bro. In law, but so your words and action show to others you care. Big finish, friendship beyond compare. Yeah, a little late on that one. Sorry.